That was D-Day, June the 6th, 1944. It would be the single largest invasion in history. I can always remember D-Day, the thing that you'd never forget, like, because uh, the amount of troops and the amount of ammunition and the amount of everything just went in that one day and, 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 and then they just kept, kept on going until they uh, won the war. And it all had to start someplace and it was D-Day that it started. This is the ship I was on, you know. Lauren Daggert was 17 years old when he joined the Navy. He remembers the soldiers he lowered onto the beaches of Normandy. One thing that really amazed me was how calm and cool the army fellows were. Uh, like, I guess it was because of my age or something, but I was quite nervous. I, I was, didn't know what was happening. Eh? But uh, they seemed to be very calm, cool, and when we helped them into the landing craft, they were ready to go. It was amazing, actually. From his post on deck, it was a sight he will never forget. Bodies all over the water. That, that's one thing that I guess I'll always remember. Is how many bodies were. And the blood. But there would be lots of bodies floating in the water and that because uh, as soon as we got to where we let our troops off, we were within firing distance of the shells that would come. And uh, lots of them didn't make it to shore. They, uh, I can remember seeing fellas trying to swim to get to shore like they'd got knocked off their, and, and even possibly wounded, but were trying to swim to get ashore. Because you, when you're in that kind of sh position, you've got to either get ashore or drown, and everybody will fight for their life and, and uh, try and get ashore. We were close enough that you could see men laying down that had been shot. The assault would last all day. You have no idea how many shells would have been fired that day. The, the big ships just boom, 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 all day long. And uh, we were there all day. But it was nice when we left and then it quietened down. I can remember that because it was so loud all day long. But, uh, It was kind of peaceful when we head back to England. For those sailors, it was peace they were fighting for. It wouldn't come for another year. Daggert would spend the rest of the war on a corvette serving in the North Atlantic. I can remember the, the ice on everything and you had to be very careful that you didn't slip and go overboard. If you had to walk along, you'd have to hang on and just slide your hand along the ice and mm -hmm. that too. Because the footing was just as slippery as the rails. It was interesting because uh, you really seen that North Atlantic and, and the storms that they have there. Amazing that those ships could stay afloat. I can still see that poor fellow that did go overboard and, and drowned. Uh, when, you, when your vision goes, you can see that he slipped and went in the water. And water at that temperature, you don't live very long. It was a treacherous journey through those waters. One got hit and, 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 and by the time I got up on deck, it was going down. When you think that only one got off of a whole ship's company, but it went down so quick that it, that it got hit the next thing it was down. And how he got off, he doesn't know. 
He said he didn't know how he got off. It must have got blown off, I think. Sometimes pure luck kept you alive. When the war ended, Daggert would be reunited with his four brothers and sisters, all who had served and survived. It, was, it felt pretty good to get home, I know that. So nice to see your parents and that, that you hadn't seen for quite a while. Your siblings and so on. And then the guys too, uh, all your buddies that you went to school with and that they all went away too and come back, or at least most of them came back. And I think fellas like myself are real lucky that we come home and when you look back now, what, how many years later, <laughs> 60 some years later, it's hard to believe. For many, the scope of World War II is unimaginable. Remembrance Day is our chance to never forget. If they don't remember and, and read the stories that went on, it could happen again. And I, I, I think that as long as they know that uh, it's not a good thing, that's for sure. And so many lives were lost that really didn't have to be. And I think that's where the crime is.